In these uncertain times, it seems more important than ever to get back to a more self-sufficient lifestyle. We jumped at the opportunity to make this dream a reality by moving cross-country to a beautiful maritime property. Follow along as we revive this old homestead and add to its rich history of providing for the family that works with it. Welcome to Wren's Homestead. Recently, it was finally time to plan out the orchard. We knew the general area that we wanted it in, but we didn't know the configuration yet and the trees were on their way. We found a great sight line out in the middle of one of our fields and knew that we wanted to work that in somehow. Making sight lines for rows is one thing when you have a solid line somewhere that you can use. But when you're working out in the middle of a field like we were, it proved to be quite challenging. Looking northwest out of our windows in the living room and Kenzie's bedroom, we really wanted to be able to seat down the orchard rows. That lined up with our sight line out in the field, so at that point I got to work creating different lines and squaring them off. To make it more complicated even, we have different spacing in between different rows depending on the trees and, and lots of factors. And of course the orchard isn't fitting into a square or a rectangle. It's a very many-sided oblong. Jack made a very detailed plan for where exactly everything would be going and why it would be going there. This is a many year plan. So this year we aren't putting in all the trees that we're going to eventually have. We treat putting in trees pretty seriously and tend to measure right down to inches when we do this because we know we're going to be looking at this for hopefully the rest of our lives. We put stakes in the ground where we've measured out where the trees will go. This way when it comes to actually planting we'll know where to till. Our orchard is one of the things we miss the most about our old homestead, and it was one of the hardest things to leave. It feels pretty incredible to be starting a new orchard at the farm that we will hopefully be at for the rest of our lives.